Today I was going to take a look at a little addition for the self-balancing robot. In that I was thinking why don't we put a ultrasonic sensor on the front of it so that when it gets steered into objects it automatically stops itself. I ordered an Arduino starter kit some time ago and one of the modules that came with it was this ultrasonic unit, the HCSR04. So anyway, look, I've jumped on the internet and just grabbed a bit of information about it and put it together in a little information sheet here. And I will share this with the video. But essentially it's a self-contained unit which we just have to power up and it has a basically a trigger pulse and an echo signal on it. Uh, you hit it with a trigger pulse and it will return a pulse on the echo line that is proportional to the distance the signal's travelled. So a uh, nifty little unit and as I say I'll post this information but 5 metre maximum range although I have seen a little bit of conjecture as far as that goes on the sites. Uh, 1 centimetre resolution and 30 degree uh, angle um, for re reception. Basically the operation of the unit we uh, hit it with a 10 microsecond uh, high pulse or a minimum of 10 microsecond high pulse to the trigger input and the device will create eight uh, 40 kilohertz ultrasonic pulses uh, which will travel out uh, from the unit and if we hit a obstacle that will uh, give a return uh, signal back to the uh, receiving unit and essentially the device just measures the time that the pulse has taken to go out and come back and on return it will give a pulse on the echo line that is the amount of time that the signal went out and came back. In the code I actually break down the formula uh, in a lot more detail but essentially the distance in centimetres is the pulse width divided by 58 and in inches uh, divided by 148. If no pulse is detected, uh, the pulse length will be 38 milliseconds. And because of that, the time between initiating pulses on the trigger input shouldn't be less than around 50 milliseconds. As I say, I will post this uh, little information sheet. And from now on with any of these little devices, I'll do a quick little summary sheet like this that can be included as a link with any videos going forward just for information. Let's take a bit of a look at the actual schematic. Fairly simple, we're just going to power it from our Arduino and generate a pulse on uh, D12 which is fed straight into the trigger input and the echo signal is going to be read back on uh, D2. And essentially that's it, there's nothing else to, apart from just connecting up the power. And if we take a look at a breadboard view, it will be as simple as this. Basically just a small piece of breadboard, plug the unit into it and supply power and create and the trigger and echo pulse uh, wires. Let's take a quick look at the code involved with this. I'm going to do two actual tests. The first test is going to be a very simple test when it loads. Come on, me. I'm going to do uh, two actual tests here. The first one's going to be fairly straightforward. We define the trigger and the echo uh, pins. We create a couple of variables for the echo duration, which will be in time, and then the actual distance, which we'll calculate. In the setup, we set up the, the input and the output for echo and trigger, and we start the serial signal. In the loop, we're going to create the trigger pulse. Now I've selected 50 microseconds. It has to be a minimum of 10 microseconds, so we're well and truly above that. 
So what we'll do is to ensure we're actually starting from a low point, we'll take the trigger pin low for 10 microseconds, then we'll pulse it high for 50 microseconds, and then we will set that pin, the trigger pin low again. And then after that, we will use the pulse in uh, command to capture the duration that the echo pin is actually high for and store that in echo duration. The next thing we'll do is simply calculate the distance. I've broken out the actual uh, calculations here. The speed of sound is 340 meters per second, which equates to 0.034 centimeters per microsecond. Time equals distance over speed. So therefore distance is the time times the speed and we're going to calculate this in centimetres. So the distance apart is the pulse time times the speed divided by two. Now the reason it's divided by two is because the signal has to go out and come back. And we obviously just want to measure how far it is to the obstacle. So that equates to time times 0.034 divided by two. And that's the calculation that we've implemented here. So after we've done that calculation on the serial, we basically just send out distance in centimeters and then the actual distance. We put it into a delay of 100 and then it'll basically just keep doing that. So it's just going to keep measuring the actual distance and sending that out on the serial port. So that's the first test. And now we'll have a look at that in practice. Okay, so let's get this connected up. I've um, actually made a little change. I've actually reversed this around. Um, so it's pointing away. But essentially, VCC goes to our 5 volts. Ground goes to ground. Trigger goes to 12. And echo goes to 2. Let's take a look at the serial monitor because there appears to be a heap of stuff going out there. It's telling me 67 centimetres. Now it's telling me 9. Alright. 3, 2. Okay, so it appears to almost to the 2 as it mentioned. And certainly it's reading perfectly okay. Let me just get a shot of that for you. I've got the camera sitting on the Mac screen now just showing the output of the serial monitor. Now if I just drop the phone back in front of the device and just move it in, we can see it decreasing and it just seems to be working really really well actually. Okay well that was quite a resounding success for that little ultrasonic module. I am going to test this uh, using a slightly different method, using interrupts, but I'll leave that for a second video because this one's getting a little bit long. But uh, look, if you find this interesting, please like, and I'd love you to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.